here's the thing, okay? <laughs> if Faison Love actually said it, because I can understand you coming from a part of not knowing. Right. But if I was to sit down with Faison Love and say, okay, here's what you have to do. And this is going to get you an extra ten to $20,000. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Think about the people that were on Comic View. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't really get to use that credit as much, but you can use it enough to where maybe you can get some shows. But if you got those Comic View people and some of these new social media platforms, all it can do is help your brand. Why wouldn't you want to help it? Carlos Miller was just on here and he gave a heck of an analogy about mm -hmm. how if one comes out, he said, if he was doing, it. why would you change what you do and go to the community? Right. I was like, that's crazy, but it's real. It's yeah. If you on the internet and you can sell out a show from being on the internet, why the fuck would you sell out the show, get to the show, then do some completely different shit that made you sell out the show? Ooh, <laughs> like, that was a great like, Why would you change what you do when you go, he was like, basically He's go like, in there, on stage do, yeah, and do the skit do on the skit stage. and then leave, let them come do their jokes right. and get them. Are you crazy? I get it, I get it. If I was on the internet making skits, right, and yeah. they put me on stand-up comedy shows and expecting me to do stand-up comedy, I'm coming out on stage with my motherfucking phone, <laughs> and we finna shoot sketches, bitch. We finna do a big ass sketch. I need everybody over here to put <laughs> these t-shirts on, what? and y'all put these t-shirts on. I'm finna walk back out here, and when I come back, I need y'all to do this, and I'ma do this, and I'ma put this shit together. And by the time we finish this shit, I'ma have it on my social media tonight. Good night. Tag yourself going viral again all them niggas with them point ass jokes can kiss my dick bring the next nigga up those people are there the the, the 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 comedy club gave you the place they gave you the venue to use you get to create your show any way that you want to half those people there aren't really into stand up anyway they are there for they are there for those skits and their picture. They want to be able to go to work and show their friend, hey, hey, I was at the Country Wayne show. I was at the Carlos Miller show. I was at the DC Young Fly show. I was at the Desi Bank show. I was at these shows and look at my picture. Here's my proof to show. Any type of show that you want to put together, it's your show. You can do it however you want to do it. Ha ha Davis, that's what he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's seen, okay. I, you know, I tried to say, it's, it takes time to get that stand-up ball. You're, you're not going to do it in a year. You're not going to do it in two years. you got to put in that work. So why not just be entertaining until? If, okay. And if you don't want to go to stand-up, you don't have to because guess what? They're there for you. Mm -hmm. So whatever yeah. you give them, that's what they're gonna. That's what they're gonna enjoy anyway. They're your fans. Right. They're not gonna go on the internet and go, "Oh man, he was horrible." Even at the stand up, because they're your fan. They're your family. But when you look at like when Mike came on here, Mike was like, "Faison don't know." He, he it's just like telling a a, a gorilla or animal about an airplane. They just don't a get it. A, a dinosaur. A dinosaur about an airplane. And but see, uh, I, I didn't saying, know. But that's why I asked him the dinosaur. Hey. How do planes making money? You talking about the big old metal things flying <laughs> in the sky? No. That don't make so, no sense. So I, I, so I understand. I was my mind was like, ah, it's skits, and I I told Wayne I'm gonna do it to get some followers. And it's like, but there has to be some way to bridge the gap. Bring the, you know, but, you know what you I said think? it was. You said it was. It was. You see that gap closing. Oh, definitely. Okay, but hold on. But hold on. But hold on. Who? Plenty of different. Plenty of different. You can't say, but who? To. No, because they no. They trying. Right. right. Yeah. So I get it. So you don't. Wanna, you don't want to push them back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But here's the thing. Okay, <laughs> if Faison Love actually said it, because I can understand you coming from a part of not knowing. Right. But if I was to sit down with Faison Love and say, okay, here's what you have to do. And this is gonna get you an extra ten to twenty thousand dollars a month. He's not gonna say, "Oh no, I'm not doing that." He's gonna say, "Oh, okay," because he already has the talent. He already knows what timing yeah. is. He already Tough. he already knows, so he, he can basically make extra money with little or no effort because Reels is where Facebook is going to right now. Six second videos get um, millions of views and you capitalize off of that. So there's no veteran comedian that if you explained it to them and showed them how easy it was, it's not gonna be like, well, no, nah, I can't use no extra 10 to $15,000 um, a month for doing a, little, for doing a little bit of work. I, I, I find that hard to believe that they wouldn't 
jump on. Uh, they wouldn't jump on that. The thing is, it seems hard if you're not doing, doing it. it yeah. You know, if it's explained right, it's like, oh, there's a lot of my friends that I help get monetized who really weren't into right. doing it right now. Then like, mm -hmm. ah, I don't want it. But then once you, you know, once you get a taste of it, it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.